Hey everyone, welcome back to The Captain. I'm Disturbing Puppet. So, I'm gonna try something I thought of just to see if it actually makes any progress uh, in the puzzle I'm currently facing. So, I have... in here an ID with some blood on it from the person I'm trying to copy the DNA over. I've got some critters that I've made using the ID card um, as the dead kind of DNA sample because there is blood on it. But there is also a container upstairs that's locked. So I don't remember if I tried Dr. Cake's ID to try to open that or not. So I'm just going to kind of test and see if it actually works. Uh, and the other thing I remembered with this will do is just kind of highlight stuff that's around that I can actually interact with. So I did find something just kind of in looking around a little bit. There were some, like, big scratch marks on the wall, which I didn't notice before. It basically just says, there's scratch marks on the wall, looks like they were created by an animal. That's it. So, nothing really, like, too crazy or anything. But just kind of, like, wandered around a little bit, trying to see if there was something that I missed. Like, a particular item or something. So, I noticed that that... ...little container was still there and locked. It's down the hall here, past Crazy Lady's office. Right here, I've got the utility locker. So medium-sized utility locker, to open this I would need the right key. So, I'm hoping, because I tried the access stick, it doesn't work, let's try the ID card. Nope, that's a no. Okay. It was worth a shot, I suppose. I'm kind of surprised I don't have the right key. The access stick doesn't work. And the ID card doesn't work. Token? No, that doesn't work either. Stuff some cheesecake in there, along with some frozen yogurt. So, security, I'm pretty sure there's nothing in there. Checked it already. I'm gonna take a look here just to see. Forget to interact with something? No, everything's fine. That's it. I can't really lock down anything. Yeah, I thought for sure getting into this might be something I need. Um, I'm afraid to go in this room. But I think I might have to go ahead and do it. Because the crazy doctor's in there. Dr. Drum. Oh, finally. You're here. You came straight here from the security room, right? Uh... <laughs> Didn't you say we'd meet up in your office? No, we did not. This dead woman in the lab you were stuck in. Yeah, I know. It was a terrible accident when the station went into emergency lockdown. Could have mentioned that over the intercom. There is a lot I could have mentioned, but that was not the time for it. I don't know if you noticed, but this planet is really unstable. There was a massive earthquake, and Dr. Drum fell and hit her head. You say we meet up in your office? Did I? No, I said Drum's office. I'm sure of it. Tell me what happened here. I have no intention of telling you anything that I don't need you to know. It's just there are a rapidly growing number of questions. For God's sake! I've already told you. We got stuck in the lab after the base went to an ELD state. All our attempts to break out had failed, and I was sure I was going to die in there. So, I guess I also have to thank you for helping me out. No problem. Now, I have to ask you, who are you? <laughs> I have no intention of telling you. Thomas Walmu, captain of the Space Fleet Science Vessel Copernicus. How did you find this place? My ship did a scan of the sector and found it. That shouldn't be possible. Did you know this facility is far beyond top secret? Since a regular scan revealed it? No. Well, it is. No. So, we have a problem here. I can't just let you leave. There's actually a standing order to eliminate all trespassers at the base. Seriously? Yeah, according to regulations, I should kill you right now. Easy now. Hmm. I might have another solution to our dilemma. What do you have in mind? 
You see that booth over there in the corner? Yeah. It's a private little project of mine. What is it? It's a memory eraser of sorts. It's perfectly safe. I can use it to erase your memory of this place, and afterwards you'll be free to go. It works on all species, and I can set an exact date and time from where to erase. And I will, of course, pay you the standard compensation of 400 credits for participating in an AAE-developed procedure. So what do you say? Shall we do this? Uh, I'm not some lab animal you can have your way with, Doctor. I won't force you, but you're not leaving this base in your current condition. I think you'll have a hard time stopping me. Perhaps. Okay, she's just gonna hang out here. Uh, we do have this as well. It's a numeric keypad for the wall hatch next to it. I don't know the code. There's all kinds of things. I interacted with that, that, that. What is that? Hairbrush. She grabbed it as soon as I tried to look at it. Yoink. Okay, must be her hairbrush. It's a hairbrush with some strands of hair in it. But that's her. Wait, didn't I read that she had access to Area 52 and not Cake? Cake. So it's looking at eye color, green. Frequency was 116. Drum. 117, eye color, blue. Okay, so I'm actually using the wrong DNA. I need the hair. Okay, so I just missed the brush, basically. Bye! <laughs> I'm just gonna go wander off. Don't mind me. Yeah, I think one of the things that I read in Drum's office, or From's office, I can't remember, I think it's Drum, Fran Drum, um, I think was that she had access to Area 52 and had taken Cake's access away, and that also kind of matches because the blue-eyed creature matched, where it said, like, uh, Cake had green eyes. So I thought, you know, blue-green, it probably is, like, close enough, and the same was, like, the 117 hertz, and 116, it seemed like it was both kind of fine. So, let's make us a new critter. But it's... I don't... I mean, it still might have... It'll be half the correct DNA. I don't know if that's enough to pass the scanner, though. Alright, so what I need... We're gonna take the hairbrush with some strands of hair in it. I'm gonna throw that in as our dead DNA sample source. Uh, we need... Blue Eyes and 117, which I think is still the Slug. Yeah, Blue Eyes 117. Alright, Mr. Slug, come with me, please. Alright, let's fire this puppy up and see what we get. Oh, I gotta shut that. Picky, picky, picky. Thankfully, we had enough stem cells. Uh, what the hell is that? Octopus-like animal. Ah! It's like it's screaming. Bears a strong resemblance to a regular octopus. Its eyes are deep. I do, I do like that I made a little teddy bear guy. That's that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so this might actually work because it's Drum's DNA rather than Cake's DNA. Here, I always get paranoid. Let me check and make sure I'm recording. <laughs> okay. 
Right. So let's try this and see. It's actually the correct person. I just missed the item. I should use this more often just to highlight stuff. I kind of used it a bunch as I was walking around, um, just double checking. All right, octopus-like animal in the scanner. My color accepted. Brain frequency accepted. Hey, what do you know? DNA accepted. Access granted. Okay, so that gets me to cryogenics. That didn't get me into area 52. All right. So, yeah, I was trying to copy Cake's DNA when... Because, oh yeah, she's the head of the base. Right, but then we read the thing about Cake being restricted from that area herself by... From... Or Drum. Ah. Oh my god, what is this place? This is huge. Shuttle, can you hear me? Guess not. I may be too far down for radio contact. So there is a ladder. Uh, it's a broken terminal. There was ID badge. That's yeah. I totally would not have seen that giant freaky door. Probably not great. Let's check out the broken terminal. What happened here? This terminal's trashed. There's a lot of blood on the floor. Yeah, that's not good. Um, John Hershey. Okay. So we found the remains of John. I can only look at this. I can't do anything. Um, I mean, we could take the ladder. I've got to use a scanner here to get the elevator. There's a giant door we can open. I feel like that might not be the best idea. Let's check out the ladder. Well, I mean, if there is a monster... No, we're in, like, liquid or something. Okay. Can I go somewhere? Doesn't seem like there's anything. Unless it continues. I don't... I'm gonna get eaten down here, aren't I? I'm in, like, waist-deep water. So, it's supposed to be cryogenic freeze, but there's liquid everywhere, which means something's not working, right? Anything? Nothing highlighted. There's a creepy light there. Nothing. Yeah, like, nothing's highlighting. Okay, I don't understand. There doesn't seem to be anything down here to interact with. I didn't get eaten either, so, you know, I guess positives and minuses. Go to the ladder, please. Yeah, really, nothing here but that. I, let's run... I don't think there was anything here, either. It's just the creepy pipes up there. There's nothing to interact with other than the door controls, so, I mean, I guess let's hit the door. It's a small red button with a small picture of a door opening. Oh, it's there. I thought this was the door. Okay. Here, remote control. That seems like it. Yeah, just the remote control. I'm wondering if I'm going to see some of the other people. There's no obvious people inside of these. Chamber. Seems to be a stasis chamber. 
is data displayed on the chamber window. Age, length, weight, species, and more. I can't really interpret what it all means. There is a body inside of it. that person is dead. Well, that's not great. There's a body inside of it. I don't know what I meant to do. Let's go ahead and check this one as well. Somebody's got to be alive here, right? Not... Hey! What do you know? What? What happened? Where am I? You just woke up from a stasis chamber. What? You don't remember going into cryosleep? Huh, cryosleep? No, I don't think so. I was helping Dr. Drum with some technical issues when... I don't remember anything else. Who are you, and what did you do to me? I promise you I have nothing to do with any of this. My name's Thomas Wellmu. I'm a space fleet captain. I just happened to land here. You said you work here, right? Well, it looks like the same building, but I don't recognize this room. I'm not sure, but I think this area is called Area 52. Area 52? I don't have access to that. What the hell are you people working on here? Advanced genetics research, so I thought. So why do you have people cryogenically frozen in the cellar? Hey man, my job was to isolate specific abilities in animals' genetic code. I don't know anything about this place. So, who are you? My name's Prod. Prod Wantwum. I'm a genetic researcher employed by AAE. Are you feeling okay? Physically, I mean. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, thanks for getting me out of that metal cocoon. We're not out yet. What do you mean? Oh, something skipped over. Kind of double clicked there. At least I'm not out of here yet. I don't understand. This woman, Dr. Cake, I think, is forcing me to undergo a medical procedure before I leave. I know it's not Cake. Dr. Cake? I'm not sure I trust her, though. Are you sure her name was Dr. Cake? Well, that's what she said, anyway. That doesn't sound like the Dr. Cake I know. She would never force anyone to undergo a medical procedure they didn't want. Take me to her and I'll straighten this whole mess out. Thanks. Yeah, I think she might kill you if you show up. I don't know if she has any weapons, but... Let's check the other ones just to see. Hey, another person. Or something. That's not a person. Hello? Hello? Um, who are you? Do you work here? No. What are you doing here? Don't. No. You don't say much, do you? No. <laughs> Telepathic. Oh. That's cool. Oh, oh, I see. I'm leaving this place. You want to come with me? <laughs> yes. All right. Well, let's check out the last one. So stasis chamber. This one is empty. All right, no point. I uh, can't interact with that anymore, so I guess that's it. Um, we can talk to Umix. We can talk to you. Just show me to Dr. Cake, and I'll talk to her. Yes. I think we should do now. I think that we should really think about leaving this place, right? Uh, okay. Right. Come on, guys. Let's get the hell out of here. 
Uh, I'm surprised I can't ask them about the corpse, which is kind of bizarre. Um, can I just use the elevator, or do I have to put the octopus... Let's try that scanner. Uh, where's my inventory? Hold on. Let me try. I don't have access to this floor exactly, but I should be able to get us out anyway. Safety regulations, you know. Okay. Yeah, I probably could just use the same octopus thing and be fine. So, Captain, how'd you find this place if you don't work for AAE? Pure chance. My ship found this place and I landed. Guess I shouldn't have. Well, I'm glad you did. Hey, Prod. Yeah? You said you work in these labs, right? Yes, I do. Or did. I'm not sure if I do anymore, actually. There's something you have to see inside Lab 12. Come on. Oh god! Lynn! How... how could they... Captain, this is Dr. Cake. I told you she was innocent. And who did I talk to? I think I know. It must have been that witch drum. Who's this drum character? Drum's the chief engineering officer for the genetic research department. Her position here always felt to me as... Something outside of Dr. Cake's control. How do you mean? For starters, Drum has ignored her code of conduct numerous times. She was keeping research reports outside the system and ignores the staff meetings. Cake filed several reports on her, but nothing happened. I always suspected something was wrong with her. What does Drum look like? Well, she has black hair. She usually wears the biggest glasses you can imagine. No, oh, it is definitely Drum I've been in contact with. As I suspected. I remember now how I ended up in that cryo chamber. Drum wanted help adjusting the nozzle on that damn broid machine of hers, so I stepped in. Then I remember a green bright light. After that it was as if I'd lost all my willpower. I couldn't even move by myself. But when she told me to do something, like start to walk, I just did. I mean, I couldn't not do it. I don't understand how, but that machine forced me to do whatever she told me to. We need to stop her. Here. Take this key to the utility locker in the upper corridor. It should contain the tools for the machine that I was helping her with. I'm thinking maybe we can fool her somehow. If you'll excuse me now, Captain. I'd like to be alone for a while, if that's okay with you. Of course, friend. You can go ahead and check out the tools if you want. I'll join you in a minute. I just... I just want to say goodbye to Cake first. I understand. Captain. Yes? I wait for Prod. Okay. I'll just go and try to find those tools in the meantime. Yeah, so we can trick her to getting in the machine, maybe. Um, but there is also this... Yeah. The section of the station is temporarily confiscated by Research Team Beta, issued by Drum. There's this as well. I just have the one access stick. It's not working. There's a red light flashing when I try. Yeah, I tried that before. I'm just curious if there's a way to get in there. I might need an access stick from Drum to get in there then. Okay, now we can get in the utility locker. Find some tools.
I'm pretty lucky that didn't happen when I was inside. Looks like I'm gonna be on my own for a while now, though. Yeah, how are they get? They're stuck now, down there. The elevator's the only way up. Nothing there I can interact with either. Okay, I've got. What did he give me? Prod's locker key. Broid nozzle rotator. So maybe I can turn it so she thinks she's going to be opening it for me. And I'll be opening it turning it in her direction, and it'll mind-wipe her or something. Have I been in here? I don't remember. Oh, right. This is just the security room. Right, right, right. Okay. Okay, so I want... I don't know if it'll set that on page two. Yeah, it will. So I want to mess with this, but I can't do it from here, right? I mean, she's not going to let me just kind of watch me do it either. I mean, it works with it, but I'm, I can't reach it, probably. Hello again. So have you finally changed your mind about the procedure? Why is the elevator to the entrance disabled? You know why. I've disabled it. What? Would you please re-enable it for me? I need to get out of here now. I don't think so. Not until you agree to this procedure. I don't know how I'm going to reach it, though. The chain. The deal with the chain is. So that works with that. But if I'm in the chamber, I don't know that I can actually reach anything there. Is there a way to get... There's got to be, like, a way to get up here. It's a chain with a handle. I mean, I could just go ahead and go. I'm just worried that I'm going to end up uh, leaving everybody behind and getting my brain nuked if I don't adjust this without her realizing first. So I, I kind of feel like there's got to be a way to get up here to mess with it. But, I mean, she's in here, so wouldn't she notice? I, I don't know. Uh, I did just say get the tool, so maybe just go? I don't, I don't know. can't do that from here. There is the control center right there. So a keypad for the wall hatch next to it. I don't know the code. I mean, that's not going to do anything. Yeah, I almost feel like there's got to be a way to get up there, but I would have found it by now, I think, if there was. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, yeah, there's like, there's something connecting the loading bay. Like those upper areas from the elevator. Okay, nobody wants to talk to me. Yeah, and I can't use the elevator to get up at all. It's not working. Small panel in the door says access denied. Maybe there's someone else in this place who can help me. Yeah, this is the markings that I found, too. There are three distinct scratch marks on this wall. I hate to say this or even think it, but they look like they were made by an animal. I mean, it seems like my only option is to go ahead and go in there. Let's go in the door. Yeah, just go in the door. Thank you. Is there 
anything in here I missed? Is there a way up? Can I get up there? Certainly doesn't seem like it. It's the picture, the door, the poster, that's it. Nothing else I can do, nowhere I can go, nothing to interact with. Alright. And these... Well, it could potentially connect from the elevator up. But the elevator's all busted. Unless I can climb up here? I suppose I can get up in there, can I? Nope. Doesn't look like it. It's odd that it does have those lines there to kind of show you where the piping and stuff is. Get up. I don't think there's a way in from security. I would have noticed, I think. Maybe. Yeah, there's actually no higher area here, it looks like. There's nothing to interact with. Alright, I really don't want to get mind wiped here, but I don't really know what else I can do. And hope that once I'm in, then I can do something to adjust this. kinds of stuff to interact with here. The brain... Hello again. So have you finally changed your mind about the procedure? Okay, let's do this. That's great! Here. First I need you to sign this contract. What contract? Just the standard test subject contract. You assure that you're sane and are performing the test of your own free will, and that you agree to the standard compensation model. What's the standard compensation model? It states that all test subjects should receive 400 credits after the testing. Okay then. I'm just gonna sign it. Could you please step into the chamber over there? Okay, I have armed the device with the three second delay now be a bright green light from that nozzle above you. For your own safety, I will go outside during the procedure. You wouldn't want any memory loss leakage. Whenever you're ready, just pull that chain above you and the countdown will start. Uh, okay. Okay, let's see if I can use it from here. Can I keep moving it? I want it maybe aimed in her direction. Nope, okay. It's only gonna go that way. It's a chain with a handle. Why does everything in this universe run with chains and handles? Still awake? You can come out of there now. Well, we need to try something. Go stand on the green spot on the floor. Go stand on the red spot on the floor. Go stand on the blue spot on the floor. Wonderful. 
Now, stay there while I finish up in here. Three, two, one. Booth door code. Now I know the code of the door. If I can get her to go in there. So the controls for the Broid machine. Strange. Something's clearly gone wrong here. I think I have to reset the machine. Come back a little bit later if you want to try again. I know the code now. Never. What? <laughs> what? I don't want to do that right now. Hmm. Okay. Hello again? So we finally changed your mind about the procedure. Okay, let's do this. That's great. So we'll have to go through this again here. Could you please step into the chamber over there? Okay, I've armed the device again. Whenever you're ready, just pull the chain above you and the countdown will start. Okay, let's see what this will do. Set a predetermined 10 second delay for the bright beam to shoot. Huh. Can I get her to go in there? Is the thing. Can I put it back in like the normal position? No, I can't. Huh. Okay. Weird. I don't know what setting a delay would do. Must be wrong with the machine. Oh god, how did that happen? Oh, I see. I must have accidentally set the delay. I better reset the machine. I guess you can come out of there now. We'll try this again in a short while. Okay, now that it's back there... Can I do this without frying my brain, is the question. <laughs> Hello again. So you finally changed your mind about the procedure. Yeah, let's do this. chamber. Okay, arm the device. Whenever you're ready, pull the chain above you. I mean, I have it here. I don't think having it down and the delay... Can I... I wish I could turn it. I wish I could turn it that way. Yeah, 
Yeah, it only goes that one direction. I think it's gotta be down. With the delay, and then maybe I can get out before it fries me? It just feels kind of risky <laughs> to do it. wrong with the machine. Oh god. Oh, I did the same mistake again. How strange. It should come out of there now. We can try this again in a short while. Yeah, but if I know the passcode, she knows the passcode too. Let's try doing this again. Okay, arm the device again. Whenever you're ready, just pull the chain above you and the countdown will start. I really wish there was a way to just aim it at her, but... You can't do that from here. Well, yeah, open the door. <laughs> Okay, got the delay set. Hit the chain, I'm worried this is gonna screw things up. Come on, come on, come on, let me out, 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 let me out. Hmm, must be something wrong with the machine. Ah! Yeah. I had a feeling that was going to screw me. I just didn't know what else to do. I feel like there's something else. Like, I need to aim it at her. <laughs> I'm suddenly on the ship. Day 46. What? Uh, ship? Yes, Captain? What is happening? What do you mean? How did I get here? Are you feeling okay, Captain? Just answer me, please. How did I get back to the ship? I'm sorry, sir, but I'm finding it difficult to formulate accurate answers to your questions. We've just arrived at our destination, sir. What destination? The destination we set out for after leaving the planet with the research facility. I don't remember leaving that planet. You don't? No. That's odd. Quite. I wonder... Do you remember giving me specific instructions after arriving from the planet? No, I don't. Oh. What instructions did I give you? You told me to wipe all records we had of that planet. You even got me to erase the location and the star map. That was quite a challenging task, I might add. It took me several days just to figure out how to manipulate one specific memory file without destroying all the rest. Uh, I wonder if there's a way I can load that again and try something different. What did I do when I came back from the planet? You arrived back with shuttle as usual, perhaps not exactly as usual. What do you mean? You were in an extraordinarily jolly mode, singing and dancing. Singing? Yeah, I couldn't recognize the lyrics, but you laughed out loud and explained that it was Mozart. I've searched my database, but can't find any information supporting that fact. I don't remember any of this. I have it all captured in the ship's video storage, if you'd like a visual recap, sir. God, no. Delete it immediately. Yes, Captain. So what happened then? Well, you ended your dance routine here in the cockpit and sat down. After a while, you gave me instructions, and we flew here. I don't remember any of this. What could have happened to me? I'm not sure. Maybe they affected you somehow when you were down on the planet? Do you remember anything strange at all from down there? Oh, wait. I think I remember something. There was a booth, and a huge man. And he forced me into this booth, I think. I vaguely remember some kind of struggle but I guess he was too strong for me. Then they turned on the machine. I don't know, it all feels so scrambled and disjointed. I think I'd better prepare a brain scan for you so we can check if they did some damage to you. 
Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Good. Just go to the bio chair when you're ready. Got braided. Um, can I... Go to the earlier save. That's... After Dr. Brem was revealed, talk to scientist in person. Okay, so this is the more recent one. Elevator broken, what? Yeah, so we can kind of go back. Yeah, I mean, we could stick with the events, but I feel like there's got to be a way to get out of here. So you can't just kind of continue on, as you can kind of see. There's lots of different ways to go. Um, is this before? God, I don't even know where I'm at at this point. Is this after I... Yeah, this is after we talked to them. We came up. We have the key. So I just have to figure out how to not get screwed <laughs> by the uh, machine. Okay, so we have the nozzle relocator. And we're pretty much back like where we were before. I wish there was a way I could adjust the nozzle to aim her direction. I don't know why I can't. Hello again. So, finally change your mind about the procedure. Yeah. Alright, let's do this. That's great. Just sign this contract. Yeah, we went through all the contract stuff. That's fine. Okay. So, three second delay. Pull the chain, you get broken. Alright, so there's different endings, kind of depending on how things go, but I've got potentially two crewmates here. I really don't want to let them go. Um, I really want to kind of figure out what I need to do here. I wish that was like, could I use it more and spin it more? Like, I wish it would rotate all the way around or something, but it seems like that's it. So, what do I need, a mirror or something? I don't know if this is anything that I can do. We'll just try very carefully to convince her that I got mind wiped. In the first place. Hmm. You're still awake. You come out of there now. So let's try to make sure we convince her that we're mind wiped. Well, we need to try something. Go stand on the green spot on the floor. So we just wait. I can't look at this. Go stand on the red spot on the floor. Go stand on the blue spot on the floor. And while I'm here, I'm gonna look at the note. Three, two, one. Great. Now I know the code to the door. Wonderful. Now stay there while I finish up in here. So before I moved around, now we're not gonna move at all. We're just gonna wait. And hopefully, eventually, she'll just be convinced that I was mind-wiped. She'll give me instructions. I'm kind of surprised the other two weren't able to come up and help me or anything, but I think because the elevator's busted, I don't think there's any other way they can get out, so I might be stuck without them. And it might just take forever, literally, and just wait for you to mess something up here. It might not be possible to have her convinced that you are mind-wiped. I don't know how I could get her in the broid chamber. I mean, really, I should be able to just overpower her and throw her in there. Especially if we could get the other two people in here to help out. I 
Yeah, I feel like this must be, it's like forever. We can't actually convince her that we're, we've been affected. stuff without moving. I'm still on the button. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's just going to stay there forever until I try to move and then she'll be like, oh, that's weird. Why are you moving? So no matter what I do, we're kind of stuck in this loop of trying to undo this. And I don't know how i am be able to do anything about that. I don't have anything I can use. Let's throw an octopus at her. As long as I stay on here, I think she's fine. But yeah, I think it's just going to last forever until eventually she's like, oh, that's weird. Why are you wandering around and stuff? Strange. Something has clearly gone wrong here. I think I need to reset the machine. Come back a little bit later if you want to try again. Right in a container. What can I do? I mean, we can only rotate it. It's so weird that it only goes that way. I feel like that would be the simplest solution to move it a different direction. The 10 second delay, I don't get how that helps me either. Because if I'm in there, even with the 10 second delay, she doesn't let me out soon enough and I can't interact with the door soon enough. can't get her out of this room either. Let's see if there's a way to get back to the other two. The elevator's busted completely. If I could get up there. Intercom, yeah, I can't get a hold of them on the intercom either, which is kind of weird. All right, I'm going to have to think about this. I probably am going to look around a little bit as well. I don't know if there's any items that I've missed, but it is possible. All right, so that's probably going to do it for today for the captain. So I've been Disturbing Puppet. Hopefully I'll see you all again next time. Until then, have a good one.